Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cats Reactions, and my name is Greg, and I'll tell you what, I, I just listened to some Led Zeppelin, it was really good. So, I think I'm going to stay in, eh, you know, loosely the same sort of vein. This is Deep Purple, and you know, it's another live concert, so that's part of it. And the filming looked really good, and the sound seemed pretty decent when I when I heard it, but, uh, or, you know, heard the little snippet that I'll play, you know, usually before I put something up. So this is Child in Time, and it's recorded live in 1970. So let's check it out. <laughs> in time you'll see the line the line that's drawn between the good and the bad see the blind man yeah, he is shooting at the world bullets flying Flying lead. You better close. 
something else as usual i didn't like the commercials at the end you know that crap they throw up there uh but anyway man that was that was really good uh you know the individual musicians were (laughs) really good you know uh richard blackmore on guitar there and the vocals that guy is great i mean he's got so much range and so much power and then the organ was (laughs) just insane you know the guy was just insane and you know a band is more than just a sum of its parts you know because all together there they were making these great sounds and going through all those tempo changes just as tight as they can be that is really hard to do really hard to do you've got to practice together a lot to be able to pull that off and they did it without a flaw (laughs) thing that god the thing that really flipped me out you know was all those people in the audience were just sitting there that's all they were just sitting there and you know the concerts that i've seen that were like that you know just really powerful groups and i was you know close to the first few rows that music was just washing over me with such power and you know I had to move. I mean, granted, you're in your seat and you can't do a lot, but oh my God, those people were just sitting there. You know, there's there's some guy that keeps bugging me, you know, because I bob my head when 
when the music plays, which is annoying too. I mean, you know, I'll grant you that it is annoying, you know, and I've got to play the music in the little corner there and, you know, but I can't sit still when I'm listening to music. If I could, I'd be up dancing around to this shit, you know, or at least moving with the the weird dancing that I did way back in the day, you know, the psychedelic dancing where you're just moving to however the music washes over you and empowers you. It, you know, it's uh, <laughs> it made it impossible to actually learn formal dances, you know, but... God, that was that was great. That was a real treat. I enjoyed that. They were a fun band to watch, and uh, yeah, I, you know, I've I've really kind of neglected this band, and part of it is, you know, I really liked when they came out with the song "Hush." That was a dynamite, you know, top forty hit, and then they did "Smoke on the Water," which, you know, it was a good song. It was definitely a good song, and it was creative, you know, writing about a real event and all that, you know, but. But they just played it over and over and over again. And I got so sick of it. And there's so many bands like that that, you know, they played some song into the ground. And I got sick of the band and, you know, gave them kind of short shrift for the, for the rest of what they did. You know, and now, oh my God, at least I haven't done it with this song. But, you know, you, you listen to commercials or tv shows or movies and they've taken all the music from when i grew up and they've turned it into a commercial or a soundtrack you know sometimes it's just fine on a soundtrack you know other times if they can't get the copyrights from the band they'll have a pseudo band that's trying to make the same noises or you know with some of the stuff i've seen they'll uh like there's this one you know, band that plays for commercials that tries to sound like Leonard Skinner, and what they do is they hit different chords in a song. So they can say, okay, well, no, no, we're not stealing your song. You know, we've changed this. It's totally new, so we can use this without paying you any money. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was a pleasure. I enjoyed hearing that. So I guess that's the last one for today. So anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and I don't know what I'll come up with, but hopefully something good. So uh, hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and we will see you then.